5% of men that do follow me are the ones that send the strange and interesting comments into my inbox asking if I would sell them pictures of my feet. I never got on social media to be an object of affection or anything like that, or to go into foot fetish world. My name is Tanya Herbert, and I hold the record for the largest feet on a living female. My feet are 33 centimeters long, and I wear a size 16, 17 in men, and an 18 in female. I am six foot nine, which surprisingly to me is only three inches shorter than the tallest woman in the world. All I'm saying is this is my hand to her foot. <laughs> <laughs> that, this right here, okay. In high school, I think is when my feet stopped growing at size 16 men's. And I would always wear tennis shoes or men's loafers, and they were not always the cutest thing when trying to dress cute in school. Going to the stores was out of the question. None of the stores I've ever been to has ever carried a men's size 16, let alone a women's size 18, so I would always buy my shoes from online. I am trying to find a size 16 in men's shoes. It's impossible for me to find, so that's what I'm trying to do. Well, let us see. We'll measure your foot, and then we'll see what we can do for you today. All right, okay. thank you. You're measuring a 16 and a half, double wide. I hope to bring awareness to shoe manufacturing companies in order to be a more inclusive and customizable size and affordable options for women out there. That one's not going to fit. <laughs> I got something a little bit bigger, so maybe this will work for you. The women have struggled with size 12 and 13 trying to find shoes for them, and I wear size 18. So just to have the options available for women to find shoes, you can find men's size shoes easily, but trying to find women's shoes is impossible or extremely unaffordable. Still a little tight with the toe, but hey. Then in 2022 through social media, I was able to find different ways to create feminine shoes. I would also buy some of the largest shoes I could find on Amazon and things like that and manipulate those to extend them out a little longer and make them a little wider so that they would fit my feet. Growing up, I was always the tallest person around. My mom was 6'5", and my dad is 6'4", so I had no choice but to be tall. My parents gave me a very healthy self-esteem growing up, so I didn't think of it as a bad thing of being tall. I never remember getting bullied or anything like that for my height. My friends actually took great care of me to ensure that I was loved and liked everywhere as I grew up. Um, the only people that really didn't like me as I was growing up was the sport coaches. The coaches always wanted me to play basketball or anything like that, but I was always more focused on my education, so I never got into sports. My weight loss journey has been a roller coaster of emotions and ups and downs. It started in 2021. Um, my mom passed in the early part of the year from cancer. I realized I had to get healthy before I had any weight-related diseases. When I went to the doctor, I weighed in at 552 pounds, and it was the biggest I have ever been in my entire life. I wore a size 34 in pants and a size 5X in t-shirts. I just knew if I kept going down this path that I would die at an early age. The doctor recommended for me to have the gastric sleeve weight loss surgery. So in November, I did have that surgery and it was the best decision I could have ever made in my life. And now, one year later, I am 165 pounds down and I have 85 more pounds to go and I'm loving this journey on my weight loss journey. Being a world record holder, may open doors that I may not have been able to get into beforehand. So I want to be a spark to shoe manufacturing. I'm 
being recognized as having the largest feet in the world is amazing to me. I never thought that this would happen. Never really thought of them being world-breaking, record-holding feet. 